let's talk a little bit about rational exponents and radicals. If e over n is a rational number with n greater than or equal to 2, then b to the e over n can be rewritten in radical form, which is the nth root of b to the e power. So b is what we call our base. e is the exponent. That would be something like x squared, where 2 is the exponent. And n is what we refer to as our index. That's the same thing as the nth root, if you wrote it in radical form. So let's look at an example. Convert the following to radical notation. If I have x to the two-fifths, this is considered rational exponent form because our exponent is a fraction. Now, if we wanted to convert that to radical notation, then we could write it as the fifth root of x squared. Mm. This is also the same as writing it as the fifth root of x and everything squared. These both represent the same thing. So we have converted from rational exponent form to radical form. Now let's look at another example. If we have 5x squared plus 1 all to the 1 half power, this is rational exponent form because our power is a rational, which is another name for a fraction. Let's convert it to radical form. If we do that, we could rewrite it as the square root of 5x squared plus 1 all to the first power. Now notice we did not write a 2. That's because we never write a 2 when we're talking about the square root. If this was a cube root, we definitely would write a 3, but there's no need to write the 2. That is just an understood 2. Also, when you have something raised to the first power, there's no need to write a 1. Right here is your exponent. So the way you would want to write this answer would be the square root of 5x squared plus 1. This would be radical notation. Let's look at this next example. We have the fifth root of x to the fourth power, and we can rewrite that as x to the four-fifths power, where four-fifths is our rational exponent. The next example is the cube root of 4x to the fourth plus x all to the second power. If we want to write that in rational exponent notation, we can write 4x to the 4th plus x, and all of that is raised to the 2 third power, where 2 is our exponent, and the 3 represents our cube root. This is the way we would write our answer when asked to write in rational exponent notation. Let's look at another quick example. If we have the square root of x plus 1 to the fifth, and we wanted to write this in rational exponent notation, we would write it as x plus 1 to the 5 halves. This is just a reminder that when you, we have the square root, we never see the 2 actually written. It's just assumed. And this is our answer.